Hello and welcome to the Milner Brown webinar on administration. My name is Antonio Huerta and I will be presenting to you a few administration topics on SAP Business One. The topics that I will be going through are tooltip preview, alerts management introduction, master data cleanup wizard introduction. I will begin by demonstrating how to use and set up the tooltip preview. In order to use this functionality, we are going to go to Administration, System Initialization, Tooltip Preview. If we want to use this functionality, we have to select the checkbox Enable Tooltip Preview. By selecting this option, we can use the following objects. Chart of accounts, business partners, item master data, and so on. We can enable one of all the objects and by selecting one of them, for instance, business partners, then the next step is we have to say which one of are the fields that we want to see with this functionality. For instance, I've selected the business partner code, name, type, business partner, currency, and so on. For instance, selecting item master data, we have different options to be selected. Something that we should know is that even with this functionality, we can select user-defined fields created in the header of the, object, of the object. So how can we use this functionality? Before this new functionality in SAP, in order to get additional information from the documents, what we had to do is we had to drill down to the orange arrow. Now, with the tool preview functionality, just placing by placing the mouse on the golden arrow, SCP displays the selected fields for this object. For instance, if I place my mouse on the customer, I can see the code, name, telephone number, business partner currency, and so on. Following the example, if I select any item, by placing my mouse, I can see the different fields that I've set up as visible for the items. Next topic today will be the alerts management introduction. In order to use this functionality, we will go to Administration, Alerts, Management. We have, or SAP has created, some by default alerts. So, if I select the asterisk, from number 1 to number 7, all those alerts are predefined in SAP Business One. For instance, deviation from percentage of gross profit, deviation from credit limit, or minimum stock deviation. Let me choose one as an example. We have here the name of the alert. We can set up different priorities, low, normal, and high, and by selecting this checkbox, we will say that this alert is active. If we do it, the next step is select which one is the user or users who will get this alert. We will set up, for instance, the 
conditions, maximum deviation, and the different documents related to the credit limit that we want to select. Updating the fields and this alert is ready to use. We can create or use the alerts already predefined in SAP Business One or we can create a new one, a user-defined alert. How to do it? First thing, we will create find and we will give the name of the alert. For instance, sales orders in four days. SAP. Next step, we have to set up the priority. We have to say that it's active and we have to link to this alert the SQL query or HANA query where displays this functionality. So, sales quotations in four days. We, say, we will select the users getting the alert and we will set up the frequency of this alert. For instance, once per day at 8 in the morning. We can select as well the save history checkbox. This option saves a log of the alert in the, in the path messages alert overview window. If you leave the checkbox blank, then each alert overrides to the previous one. The alert has been created. The last topic today will be the master data cleanup wizard. In order to use this functionality, we will go to the administration module utilities master data cleanup wizard. When we select this option, SAP opens this screen. The first warning is that removing data is irreversible. I'm going to click next and here we have the wizard options. Start a new master data cleanup run or use an existing one. For this example, I'm going to create a new one by clicking Next. We have to say which one is the name of this master data cleanup and select the different options that we want to remove, delete or set up as inactive. Just let you know that we cannot use this functionality if we haven't created a backup. So the backup is mandatory before we use this master data cleanup. In this case, I've already created this backup for my database. We can set up the different master data options. And for the business partners and the employees, we have three options. Remove business partner, deactivate business partner or delete the business partner content. The same functionality and options are available for the employees master data. For this example, what I'm going to use is only the option business partners and what I'm going to do is deactivate business partners. I'm going to click Next and here is where I'm going to select or do the business partner cleanup selection. Here is when I have to say to SAP which one are the business partners that I want to, in, uh, to add for this cleanup. You can use the option from to business partner, you can select a business partner type, a business partner group, 
supplier group or even you can select additional filters for instance business partners properties in this case I'm going to select one customer that I want to deactivate. I click search and SAP displays the business partner list based on this selection. And now I have to confirm the selection of the business partners that I want to deactivate. Once this selection is done, I'm going to create next and this is the business partner cleanup recommendation. The action will be deactivate and the business partners selected, in this case is Johnson. I'm going to create next or click next and here we have the different options execute or save parameter set and exit. So then you can execute the wizard later. For this example, I'm going to execute this wizard by clicking next. Next. And here I have the master data cleanup summary where it says that one business partner has been deactivated following my settings. So I'm going to click next and finished. If I go to business partners, business partners master data and select my customer, I can see that the customer has been set up as inactive. So now it's time for Q&A quiz and answers. Thank you very much for joining us.